Hi, One Hour Smart Home here, and today we're going to go through a motion sensor light switch installation. So we've got a motion sensor light switch right here, and we're going to show you how to install this. We've just got a regular light switch here, and the reason that we're going to do this is because some states require you now for current energy code to have a motion sensor light switch that will automatically turn off after a certain amount of time. Now this particular motion sensor light switch, this is a Lutron Maestro occupancy sensor or motion sensor light switch, and it also is a dimmer, so you can adjust the dimming over here. So now we're gonna get started installing this. The first thing that you wanna do before you work on any electrical is make sure that you've turned the power off. So we have done that. You can turn it off at your circuit breaker, which we've done. And then if you want, you can check it with a non-contact voltage meter, something like this to make sure that the power is off. So the power is off here. You can see that the light is no longer on when we turn the switch on. And that is another way that you can check to make sure that the power is off. So it's all safe for us to get started installing this motion sensor switch. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is remove these two screws for the cover plate. And when you're doing this kind of electrical work, you really don't need a lot of tools. Uh, typically just a screwdriver and some pliers will get you through. So now we've opened up the cover. Good time to check again with the non-contact voltage meter that there is no power there just to be safe and there is no power. So we are good to go there. And now all I'm gonna do is remove the screws holding the light switch in place to the junction box. So uh, the junction box is what is inside the wall. Um, for ease of showing you here, we don't have a wall here. We've got the junction box exposed, so you can kind of see more of the wiring and everything. This is what would behind, be behind your walls, so this is kind of like x-ray vision. So we're just going to take off both these screws here, and we'll be able to remove the light switch so that you can install the new light switch. All right, we're almost there with this bottom screw and getting it out of here. Okay. Now this is important. If you're doing this at home, what I recommend that you do now is pull this forward out of the junction box and get your camera out and take a picture. You wanna take a picture of what wires are where for this existing light switch. It will just make putting everything back together easier. Down here, the incoming line is what you call the hot wire. So that's the incoming electricity. The outgoing line that goes from the light switch up to the light fixture is called the uh, load line, and that's what carries power from the switch to the light bulb. This white wire back here is the neutral wire. You may or may not have one in your switch box. And over here, this unshielded wire uh, means no insulation on it, or it might have green insulation. That's your ground wire. So now all you're gonna do is take a picture and start removing all of these wires, okay? And you can remove them just by loosening the screws and you can then pull that wire free, all right? And last one over here is our ground wire. So I'm just gonna remove that. Sometimes you gotta kinda twist the ground wire out there depending on uh, what's going on with it. So now on our motion sensor light switch, uh, this is also, it only requires um, two wires. So you've got your hot down here, which is this black one. And up here is the load wire going to the light bulb. And then over here, you're gonna see this extra blue wire. What is that? Well, that extra blue wire, that is actually for a three-way switch application. So this will also work in a three-way switch application, but you don't need to use it if you're not gonna use it in a three-way switch application. And last but not least, we've got a ground wire. Um, and for the ground wire, you're just gonna connect that back to the other ground wires over there. So I'm gonna trim that down first so it can work inside of a, uh, a wire nut a little bit better and the first thing I'm going to do is uh, just straighten this ground wire out and make it a little bit up oh, we took a little bit off and make it a little bit easier to wire this up with a ground nut so we just go ahead and wire ground wires together you may or may not have a ground wire in your electrical switch box if you don't have one um, it's probably just because you have an older home uh, you know, eventually you would want to upgrade your wiring to put a ground wire in there, but uh, not every house is going to have that available. So, you know, it's not always in there. If you don't have one, you can still install one of these switches. You just have to know that you don't have a ground wire in there. And when you do a remodeling project, something like that, have them add a ground wire in there just to get up to uh, current electrical codes and stuff like that. But newer homes will have a ground wire in there. Not all homes do. Next thing that we're going to do is... Uh, 
go ahead and loosen up the hot wire lug. And we can then, uh, for this, I'm just gonna actually, you can either wrap them around these screws or you can just push them in the back here. There's a pressure fitting in back, back here, a friction fitting, and you can just push the wire right in. You wanna make sure that you have it stripped the proper length. So you can see there's a little strip gauge here on the back of this. We're just gonna cut this down a teeny tiny little bit because it looked like it was stripped a little bit too much. And we're gonna do the same thing with this one over here, okay? And now all I'm gonna do is go ahead and uh, push this wire into the friction fitting. I might need to use some pliers just to kind of straighten this wire out because it was kind of wrapped around before. So just let's see if we can straighten the wire out. Sometimes using pliers, you can just kind of get all the kinks out of there and it'll go into that pressure fitting a little bit better. So we've got straighten them out, both of them. And now let's uh, try and press this in here, okay? All right, there we go. So we've got our hot wire in there and now we're just gonna put our load wire in there. Do the same thing up here and we're just gonna push it in. Okay, so now we have all of our wires installed. This is almost ready to go back into the switch box. Another thing that I like to do is just put a little bit of electrical tape uh, to cover over the, uh, the exposed terminal lugs. And what that does is if you've got other switches in there or you've got any kind of loose wiring or you gotta work on this while it's live, it just kind of gives you an added layer of protection and just make sure that you've got all these switch lugs covered there. So if you put a screwdriver in there accidentally or something, you may not get shocked if uh, it is live. Obviously you don't wanna work on your uh, electrical system live, but sometimes uh, people do for whatever reason, maybe you've gotta test something or uh, work on it for some reason like that. So the next thing that you've got to do is uh, put your screws back in. And all we're gonna do here is just uh, go ahead and secure these. All right, so we got the top one in. Now we're gonna put the bottom one in. All right, let's see here. Make sure we got it aligned right. You know, sometimes it's a little bit hard. And uh, one thing that you wanna make sure that when you're doing, when you're installing these, is don't go too tight with them. Cause you can actually bend the frames on these light switches pretty easily. Uh, you know, it's pretty thin metal. And then it kinda like it gets warped when you're trying to put it back into the wall. So just be careful when you're doing that. All right, now we're ready to uh, put our light switch cover plate back on. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Use a screwdriver here. And you know, I like to, once again, just take your time with this, get it adjusted how you need it so that it looks good on the wall. If you've got uh, multiple light switches in there, it's best to just kind of experiment with uh, putting these light switch covers on so you get them all level or they look good on the wall. Sometimes it can be tricky when you've got a couple of different light switches in one junction box. All right, so this is ready. Now I'm gonna turn the power back on and we're gonna see how this is working. So I'm gonna go down to the circuit breaker and turn this back on. Okay, we are plugged in here and this is now off. The motion sensor will then turn on the light when motion is activated. And once activated, the light will stay on until either turned off or a duration has passed where no motion is detected. You can see here, uh, this will automatically turn on when there's motion motion sensed. I'm over here uh, making some movement with my hands over to the left or right. Now these motion sensors will cover a large area in a room and what they'll automatically do is uh, turn on or off the lighting within a room. So they will automatically turn on the uh, lights when motion is detected within the room and then after a certain amount of time if no motion is detected they will turn off the lights and you can adjust those settings uh, through the light switch to adjust both the sensitivity of this motion sensor here as well as the timeout settings on the motion sensor light switch so that it will automatically turn off after a certain amount of time. So it's going to probably turn on a couple times and off a couple times while we're doing this. Now once I turn it on, uh, you know, there is an LED indicator over here that shows the current dimming status and then I can also dim uh, by pressing the buttons over here to dim down the lighting for this motion sensor light switch. So when you're installing this, uh, just keep in mind you want to turn the power off. And when you are working with this and you've got it installed, you want to make sure that you program the sensitivity level for what you're looking for with the motion sensor here. 
and then the timeout level, which is important for how long it will stay on before it automatically turns off. So if you want to save more energy, you want to have this turn off sooner. If you want it to stay on longer and not be as sensitive, you can adjust those settings uh, within the light switch itself by going through a series of programming steps where you hold down the buttons for a certain amount of time and then click them up or down and it will allow you to adjust that. So we will show a programming video for this motion sensor light switch uh, in another one that goes in depth so you know how to do that. Now another thing to note is that not all of these motion sensors are the same. You can get different styles of them and these different styles will either have an auto on or auto off which is what this is so it'll automatically turn on when motion is sensed it'll automatically turn off when motion is sensed. But there's another style that will only turn on when you press it with your hand, and then it will automatically turn off after a certain amount of time. So if you want it to automatically go on, you need to get this style, and we'll put a link to this below. Um, but if you want to still have the manual press to turn it on, and then only an auto off function, there is a dimmer switch that's like that as well, a motion sensor. Uh, light switch and we'll show you that so that is how you install one of these we hope you enjoyed this video uh, please give us a thumbs up like the video subscribe if you want to support us you can click on any links below uh, buy me a coffee is down there as well as we've got some courses that we're going to come out with that you can sign up for and those will help you learn about how to automate your smart home as well as some diy projects you can also visit us at onehoursmarthome.com so Thank you very much for watching this video on how to install a motion sensor light switch. Very much appreciate you being here and we'll see you next time.